In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of message control in Xenon. The optional module message control allows for an automatic sending and acknowledgement of messages. Xenon message control forwards messages such as alarm messages or system information to designated people independently of their current location as an SMS, email or voicemail. The sending is triggered via a function, which can be linked with an event. You can also make it mandatory to acknowledge messages from message control to ensure that they are acknowledged directly by the user. Message control settings can be configured globally for all projects in the workspace properties. Navigate to the properties window and select message control. Here you have several options. For example, in the settings for Microsoft Outlook, a mail profile which is installed on the PC can be selected. Always make sure to select the sending mode active checkbox, which can be activated for several sending modes. SMS messages can be sent via an SMS gateway or via GSM modem. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol or SMTP supports sending mails over a mail server and does not need a local mail client to work. Under Voice Message there are two different options. Messages can be read to a user on the phone either via audio files or a text-to-speech engine installed on the PC. The desired way of sending can be configured individually for every function of the type Send a Message. Next, I will show you how to configure a send a message function so that the message is only sent to recipients who are on duty at the time of sending the message. For this, you need to maintain a shift calendar. Just add the required users to every shift. For example, John in the morning shift and Brad in the late evening shift. Now let's have a look at the configuration of the send a message function. Here you can select to send the message to a user group with shift filter. I will select the user group maintenance. Both John and Brad belong to this group. If the function is executed during the morning shift, only John will receive the message. If it is executed during the evening shift, only Brad will receive the message. In the next example, I will show you how the Xenon message control sends a message, for example via SMS, when an alarm is triggered because of a variable limit violation. For this example, we need a variable with a defined limit violation value and a message control function for an SMS sending mode. For the message control function, I defined one recipient user and a substitute user. If the user1 does not acknowledge the message for a defined time period, the message will be sent to the user2. In the message control function, we now need to select user1 as recipient and define the time period for acknowledging, the PIN code to confirm the message and the NA code for rejecting the message. Next, we navigate to the Variables module and select the variable with the defined limit value violation. In the Properties window under Limit Value function, click on the three dots here. In the dialog, select the Message Control function. Now all we have to do is save and compile our project and start the service engine. In the chronological event list, you can see that after each limit violation of this variable, an SMS message is sent out and if user1 doesn't send an acknowledge for a defined period of time or sends an NA code, the substituted user2 will receive a message as well. More information on this topic can be found in the Xenon help under Service Engine and Engineering Studio Message control. Thanks for watching.